Hey, welcome back. Um, time to compare some Apple music um, in regards to the Dolby Atmos, or as a Apple call it, spatial music. Um, the lossless music. Um, yeah, I'm going to compare it to how it compares to music um, playing through Room and through a DAC, through an AVR. So let's uh, get to it. First thing first, um, Dolby Atmos we'll start with. Unfortunately, can't say too many things positive about the Dolby Atmos music. Um, very disappointed of that. Um, for the newer types of music, such as Billie Eilish, um, it sounds pretty good. Um, sounds very full. Um, you get the real sense of being surrounded by the music. But in regards to um, older style of music, such as we'll take Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, sounds very, sounds compressed, it really does, and it, and, it, and it is. You're streaming up to what, five, six, seven channels of audio, there's got to be some pretty serious compression going on. Um, if you're used to SACD 5.1, DVD audio, um, Blu-ray audio in surround, you'll be very disappointed with the uh, Dolby Atmos on the Apple Music, unfortunately, because um, I pretty much have purchased a Apple TV solely for the purpose of the Dolby Atmos Music. Um, there's more and more stuff coming online with Apple in regards to Dolby Atmos, um, but yeah, sorry to say, it's just very disappointing. I really wanted this to be the, the next big thing, um, but unfortunately not. Um, I saw today that they've just released um, the Beatles Sgt. Pepper on Dolby Atmos and I have that on Blu-ray on the Dolby on the um, Dolby Atmos and Blu-ray is easily 10 times better. So, sad to say, maybe for someone listening to it for the first time that's not hasn't heard Blu-ray audio, the ones I mentioned, 5.1, SACD, um, yeah, they'll be very disappointed, I think. So, so let's go ahead. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll go through the steps of setting up the Dolby Atmos on the um, Apple TV. So, um, as you can see, I, I have it up on the screen. So, first thing first, when you get a Apple TV, you got to make sure the latest software is installed. That's one mistake that I did make. I was playing, I thought I was playing Dolby Atmos. It was showing on my AVR, it was showing the speakers highlighted for Dolby Atmos, but in my ears, I'm pretty experienced with this sort of thing now, I just wasn't quite sounding right. It was sounding like it was the Upmix Dolby Atmos, which, it, which in fact it was. Of course, as I looked, as I looked through um, the settings, the key is, is you want to go to System, first, then the software updates, and you've got to make sure your latest software is installed, which mine is, but straight out of the box, it's not, so that's a little little uh, tip and a little trick, so once you get that latest software installed, you then go to apps, you go down to music, you make sure your Dolby Atmos is set to automatic. Make sure your audio quality is lossless. And away you go, because they are not set to those um, settings by default. Another one you can go to is go back to video and audio. And make sure your audio format there is set to the automatic Atmos available. So once you do that, you're good to go. Now, unfortunately, I can't play any uh, music with the sound on, otherwise the video would get blocked. But once you get that sorted, you'll definitely know. You'll definitely know it's right because before, before I had that done, when I was switching back to just two channel music, it was still showing up the this up to the um, seven channels on the AVR, which I knew then there was the upmix happening. So once you get that, you 
head on to browse, you come down to, or you hear it in special audio. So you can sort of pick anything there. We'll go to the Sergeant Peppers, for example. And then we'll um, click on that. And then you'll hear your receiver go click. We're switching over to the um, Dolby Atmos, which I just did then. Showing all the speakers that are configured, playing. And away she goes in Dolby Atmos. But unfortunately, as I said before, it sounds a bit flat. So, um, Hopefully Apple will take this sort of, um, these sort of comments on board and um, get it sounding much better. So we'll get back out of that. Now the positive thing with Apple Music, especially on the Apple TV, is lossless audio. So if I compare, for example, what I did, I compared, I, um, I compared Marvin Gaye, what's going on. I had that on Dolby Atmos and Sounded a bit flat, a bit lifeless. So then I, so for example, we'll go search, and we'll go Marvin Gaye. Oh, we'll just uh, delete right back. So we'll go Marvin Gaye. I must say this remote control, that the new Apple TV 4K remote control is, once you get used to it, very uh, good to use. So we go V, and then we should, don't have to type in, type in the whole name. And we get Marvin Gaye. So we go down to um, Artist. As that loads up. And then when you click on this one, it will come up as um, Dolby Atmos on what's going on. The rest of the songs will, will be stereo, but when I compare that to what's going on from another album, be one of the best of ones. Well, that's what's going on there, sorry. So that what's going on will be that boss. So when you go to a, um, we well might find it in Essentials. That's probably the one to find it on. No, because that's still showing that album, so that'd be in 5.1 as well. But, um, yeah, but anyway, I did find it on five, on, there you go, probably here, singles, EPs, live compilations, that's the one we want. So we will go to favourites, 15, then you go down to what's going on, and that's recorded in stereo. Now that, comes alive. That sounds so much better than the Dolby Atmos version. As you can see, this clicks over to two, to two, to two channel, plus a subwoofer in play. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, lossless audio, two channel on the Apple TV, from HDMI into the AVR, then I've got that going to a power ramp which is feeding some um, baby pan speakers and two SVS PB1000 subwoofers. Um, I would quite happily live with that without getting a dedicated audio file streamer um, and be very happy. Now, what I've compared that to is a PC running Rune Rock with USB out into a topping E30 DAC. That's a 96... I've got a 96K um, PCM file, and um, while that does sound pretty awesome, that's pretty close to the lossless Apple Music on the Apple TV version. So, quite happily live with that. You now, the other um, comparison I made was only about 10 minutes ago before I started the video, so I'll be fresh in my mind was um, Dire Straits. So I put on, so yeah, Dire Straits, as you can see, that was the last one I listened to. Put on the classic Brothers in Arms. Brothers in Arms. Now I have multiple versions of this. 
I um, on Rune I have it in SACD. I have it on SACD 5.1, which is yeah, quite clearly the ultimate. But then I also have it on 24-bit 96k high res on the Rune. And I've compared all versions to the Apple um, TV lossless. So going from Apple TV HDMI into Amplifier, compared that from AirPlay from the from the iPad straight to the um, AVR, and then from the Rune Rock through to the Top Hang 30 and log out into the um, AVR then onto the power amp and to compare all of those in a nutshell I would say surprisingly that Apple TV comes out the winner um, I find that the while the SACD 2 channel version which I also have on Rune is probably a bit smoother more vinyl like so maybe audio files might prefer that one better but the one on the apple tv a bit more dynamic a bit more punch a bit more bass so um yeah i'd be quite happy listening to the this version on apple tv um also pretty cool once this probably wait maybe three or four minutes but you'll, you'll get a screen scan to come up where it's got a live video of uh, how they shot of major cities in the world which is uh, pretty cool sit back and watch that while you're listening to music but um so in a nutshell unfortunately disappointed in special Dolby Atmos music on the um, Apple Music um, they really had a chance to do something awesome there but I think they've missed the missed the boat a, boat a bit it just sounds very compressed a bit, bit lifeless a bit thin um, but on the flip side Apple lossless music two channel Incredible. That sounds that sounds top notch. As I said, I've um, yeah been listening to Rune, two channel DSD, high res, um, just Red Book lossless for the uh, last two years, and um, I didn't think anything would be better than that. But Apple TV really got some punch to it. Really, really takes a life of its own. So if you're thinking about getting an Apple TV as your main music streamer, I'll say, yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, as I said, you'd probably be disappointed with the spatial Dolby Atmos, but definitely would be disappointed with the um, two-channel audio. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty more videos come up from all different sort of people um, once this gets a bit of um, a bit of steam ahead and more people are into it and more music gets... Um, transformed into the Dolby Atmos or remixed but hopefully it gets better and um, yeah we'll see how we go so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe hit the like button if you like it if you don't don't like it leave a comment and um, we'll catch you later see ya